Welcome. This is to prepare you for test 4-1 for academic. So what do you need to know to, in order to be successful? You have to know three major things. Prime factorization, order of operation, and simplifying expression, such as properties and distributive property. So let's look at number one. The first thing you need to know is how to do prime factorization. So what is prime factorization? You need to break it down to prime numbers. What, num what prime numbers do you multiply to get 72? So what the way I like doing is I like making something called a factor tree. So in here, they broke 72 down as 2, 2 times 36. We circle the 2. It is prime. We broke the 2 down, 36 down, to 2 times 18. We circle the 2. We broke the 18 into the factors of 2 times 9. 2 is prime. Then we broke the 9 down as 3 times 3. Both of these are prime. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, or 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2. I had students do it this way in my class. 8 times 9 is 72. What are the factors of 8? 2 times 4. 2 is prime. What are the factors of 4? 2 times 2. Both of these are prime factors. What about 9? 3 times 3. Both of these are prime factors. So 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2. The next thing you need to know is something called order of operation. Some people learn it as PEMDAS. Some people learn it as GEMDAS. The main thing I want you to understand that is what operations are considered the least important? Adding and subtracting. So I'm going to highlight the adding and the subtracting. Notice how I broke it into three parts. The left part, the middle part, and the right part. So I broke it into three terms. First term, middle term, last term. So in the first term, for the left side, what number do you see? Eight. So we're just going to leave that alone. On the right side, what number do you see? Four. I'm going to leave that one alone. Now I'm going to do the center. It says 24 divided by whatever is inside this group of 2 times 6. What is inside this grouping symbol? 2 times 6, which is 12. So it really says 24 divided by 12. And what is 24 divided by 12? 2. So we take the 8. We add a 2 to it, which is 10. Then you take away the 4. You're left with 6. So notice, again, adding and subtracting are the least important operation. I am so disappointed when I see this. I see kids say, oh, no, no, I add 8 plus 24, then I divide it by 12. No, no, please do not do it. Adding, subtracting are the least important operation. Highlight the adding and subtracting operation so you understand that's the least important operation. Then the last two part that you're going to see on the test is something called distributive property. So it says, how could I say this using the word groups? of. Let me get my pen. It's three groups of 2x minus 4. Some students prefer the algebra class. I know in my class, I had two students in my first period class who are saying, Mr. Joe, I like drawing it because it doesn't take any thinking. Well, it takes a little thinking. So again, here's a key. A clear rectangle is an x. Opposite of an x is negative x, so it'll be a dark rectangle. A clear square is 1. Opposite of 1 is negative 1, so that'll be a dark square. So, using my key, so I need to draw three groups of 2x minus 4. Here's 2x's minus 4. So here's my first group. But it says I need to draw three groups of it. Well, let me draw it again. Here's my second group. And here's my third group of 2x minus 4. 
can you combine all the like terms? So how many x's did I draw in all? I drew six x's. How many negatives did I draw in all? Negative 4, 8, negative 12. So it's 6x minus 12. Another way you can set it is this way. Some people prefer the area model. I personally like the area model. I think it's faster. So you draw a rectangle. Just think of multiplication, what you did in fifth grade. Like, for example, in fifth grade, do you remember doing problems like this? 42 times 5. So you got to do something called area model. So how do you break down 42? 40 plus 2 and 5. So how do you, how do you find the area of this rectangle? 5 times 40. And then how do you find the area of this one? 5 times 2 is 10. So it's 210. So let's look at this one. So let me erase that so I don't get confused as to what I'm doing. Erase, erase, erase. So let's look at this one. So it's three groups of 2x minus 4. How do you find the area of this first rectangle? I multiply 3 times 2x. 3 groups of 2x is 6x. And how do I find the area of this rectangle? I multiply 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. Hey, 6x minus 12, same answer. So do you prefer the algebra tiles or do you prefer the area model? So you could say 3 groups of 2x plus 3 groups of negative 4. And that's why it's right here. And last but not least, which two expressions are equivalent? So let's look at the first one. Oh, 3 groups of 4 plus x. Do I want to do area model or do I want to draw this? Well, I'm going to draw this. 4 plus x. But I need to draw three groups of 4 plus x. So what did I draw? Did I draw 3 times 4, which is 12, plus, did I draw three groups of x, 3x? Yes, I did. So A is correct. But maybe you prefer the area model because it's faster. So here's the area model. It's three groups of 4, which is 3 times 4. And then 3 groups of x is 3 times x. Hold up. This is wrong. This should be 12 plus 3x. I'm going to, have to fix that up. Sorry about that. I apologize for that. That is wrong. And so um, that is correct. So this is the only one that's correct. The rest are not correct because here's three groups of x plus 4. Um, that's going to be 3x plus 12. That is not, that's wrong. This is 3 times 4 is 12 divided by x. This is 3x divided by 4. Does not look the same. This is wrong. It's x plus 12. And this is x plus 4. Then you times it by 4, so it's 4 groups of x plus 4, that would be 4x plus 16, which does not make sense. Only A makes sense. So hopefully you understand uh, that using distributed property or properties and using algebra tiles, you can help you answer these type of questions.